So we're gonna see how this goes because there's lots of bugs and chickens out here making noise. So about a month ago, about a month and a half ago, I was on German eBay, which is a place I really need to not be, looking at traditional German jewelry. And that led to me finding clothes and it just kind of turned into a rabbit hole that I went down and I found an item that had measurements very similar to my own, appeared to be in very good condition and was reasonably priced for what it was. So I added it to my watch list and I decided I would go back a little bit later. The listing had expired and they had relisted it with an Orbest offer. So I offered them 50 euro less than what they were asking and it showed up. So we're gonna open it. Where's my, knife? Where's my knife? So this is a piece from Hessen Marburg. Mar Marburg. Um, according to, would you go away please? Go, shoo. <laughs> According to their listing, I, as you always should, double check that with some books or fashion plates or paintings. Would you go away? You can't be making those noises right next to my camera. Okay, it's open. So we have two pieces, we have a skirt and a bodice. Go away. I really like the way this fabric feels. This is some kind of broadcloth maybe. It's definitely a cotton. And then I think this piece was added later. It feels like a polyester satin. It might not have been, or this entire thing might have been made later than I thought. It has a pocket. Somebody added a pocket. That's always the best part. I love pockets. Now loop that on there. It's got some very intense pleating. I hate pleating like that. It's awful. But it looks so nice. And the bodice. So I think this piece was probably made later in the style of an earlier outfit. It may be a vintage piece, but it's definitely not an antique piece. Um, because it has all of this. Do you like making my life difficult? Do you like being loud and making my life difficult? Not you two. Not you two. Yes. Okay, you have to go away now. Goodbye. Anyway. So, this is all that polyester satin. This accent. And then there's some of that down here as well. And that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna try and put it on and do some twirly things.
it, but that's a simple fix. I can just move the eye for the hook. Um, the bodice is going to need another hook right between the top hook and the top button, just because of it does. Um, that's really it about the dress itself. I like the way it flows. I like the way it fits. The bodice is lined with flannel, so that's a bit warm. Um, also, <laughs> my turning videos are a little funky dunky because this is a hill. Like it, it leans to my left. So in all three videos, I'm kind of like moving in this direction and falling over. Chickens. But that's because I'm on a hill because I needed a shady spot and pretty much everywhere else is in the sun. So in regards to the outfit itself and being from Marburg, I did a little bit of Google research and I did a little bit of book research and it does appear to be a newer piece made in the older style. So it has that look that a lot of those traditional pieces do and it's made like them. I would guess it's probably from maybe the 70s or 80s. Um, I have an older ja little jacket Spencer bodice like that that's embroidered. Um, ri embroidered ribbon that makes the neck piece and the wrist pieces that's from the same region. Uh, but that one's from like the 30s. So it's definitely that style though. Like putting them next to each other, you can definitely recognize it. So, pictures. There you can kind of see that style where it's the little shorter skirt, the jacket. Here's another picture. And you can definitely see how the piece that I have resembles the style of these and how they fit. And one more. That apron is super fancy. I kind of like it. So that was my new piece and I look forward to wearing it. I will probably wear it to a dance group event. So we have dedicated dirndls that we picked out as our performance dirndls, but we do have some events where we are just designating, we are just designating wear blue, black, and white, and that definitely fits within that criteria, so I very well might wear it to something. Seriously. <laughs> so I very well might wear that to something, because that should be well within that style, and it is even something that we could talk to people about, because our goal is to educate people on the different sections. That's unrelated to this. I don't know why I'm talking about it. Okay, bye!